Hey guys, it's week 10 of the buying club, so here's my weekly video disclaimer. Don't be upset if something I mentioned doesn't end up in your box. And with that, it is a corn week, so you guys are going to get corn in the box. And you are also going to get some fantastic, regular, good old red tomatoes. Very exciting. Uh, squash is back. Our uh, next row of squash just started, so squash. You are also going to get a cantaloupe. Exciting stuff. So a few things with the cantaloupe. Um, cantaloupe is kind of one of those things that you have to pick almost every day because um, it tends to not hold well in the field. So when you get your cantaloupe for you know ripeness purposes, you want to look. The more yellow the cantaloupe is, the riper it is. And then you also want to smell the stem end. If it has a nice um, like rich cantaloupe smell. It also means it is ready to go. So enjoy the cantaloupe. This is a huge cantaloupe. Um, Monday, for sure, you guys, because I already picked them, I picked them this afternoon, you guys are going to get tomatillos. Very exciting. These are fantastic. I tried a new variety and I could not be more excited with it. They are huge and gorgeous. So make yourself some salsa verde or you know, get crafty, some other creative things, but my mind jumps right to salsa. So, tomatillos. Um, later in the week, if we don't have enough, I will sub in something else. Exciting. Fear not. So, Monday, tomatillos, get excited. I have my list. Yellow peaches. We're back on peaches after I kind of gave you guys a little bit of a break last week. And I, I'm kind of feeling flowers this week. I think, I, I think it feels right. So, as far as flowers, um, we have some really nice plume, we have some really nice uh, coxcomb, and we have some uh, other really cool things that you can dry. These are some of my favorite flowers. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you guys would feel about them, but if I got them, I would be just over the moon. So first thing, and I actually have them dried. So um, I have a ton of really gorgeous straw flowers, and so these have been hanging upside down. Uh, on my porch but I ran out of room here so I'm also using my grandma has this great sort of glassed in porch thing and it has a fan and I went over there the other day to take more dried flowers and to hang them and I said oh the flowers look nice she goes oh well that's because I'm doing such a great job and I said oh yeah well what are you doing and she goes well I turn on the fan every now and again and I said well keep on keeping on and thank you for turning on the fan every now and then but they look great and these are super fun. I use these a lot in the mixed bouquets as sort of a filler and to add interest. I just think they are as cool as it gets and they are one of my favorite flowers. So not quite sure how I'm gonna do the bouquets. I'm just gonna roll with whatever feels right tomorrow when I get out in the field. I might just do some solid bouquets. Um, so some things that we have that are really awesome right now, zinnias, the plume, the coxcomb, which you can also dry, the coxcomb. And I actually have an example of that right now dried because I left the field and I forgot to pick some fresh. Good thing I have the dried. So here it is dried. So again, super easy and it's still, I mean, it really retains its color nicely. The only thing is <laughs> these drop like thousands of microscopic little black seeds. So if you're going to dry these, dry them with something underneath them. So just for easy cleanup. But once the seeds are out of the picture, you're good to go. And you can, you know, the world is your oyster. You can put them back in a bouquet like this, you know, just up and down. Uh, you can do some wreaths, some garland, some Christmas tree ornaments. I mean, you can crafty. You can get crafty. So again, just uh, with the rubber band, just hang them like this. And uh, note, your basement probably not the best place because the first round of all these, the other things seem to be fine, but the um, coxcomb uh, got moldy in my basement so <laughs> sad sad tale um but yeah everything else seemed to do okay so there's that and then my all-time favorite flower ever is crespedia these are so fun i've been hoarding them i think i've only put them in like three or four bouquets because i love them so um so yeah i might make up some of these tomorrow for some some lucky some lucky people but super fun hang them, dry them, keep them forever, gorgeous, and 
I think I covered everything for this week. Short week, short, short, uh, short chat. And I'm running out of battery, so I'm gonna shut her down right now. Have a great week. I'll have a video for you next week. Bye, guys.